Got a story time. Got a story time. Hey, got a story time. When I was 16, I was dating this guy. We're gonna call him Greg. I was dating Greg when I was 16 years old. He was my first real relationship, like my first real boyfriend. And he was, he went immediately into the military when we started dating. He was 19 at the time. And you know, I just, we had clicked instantly. Like he was my first and he was just everything to me. Like he treated me so well. He treated me like a queen. And he was like, you're gonna be my wife someday, the mother of my kids, blah, blah, blah. So we were dating for maybe about a year before we broke up. So while he's in the military, maybe saw each other maybe four or five times because he didn't like to come visit because he hated Tennessee and he was in Texas, so. So like, you know, I thought we were in love. He got my name tattooed on him. And I'm, I don't have a tattoo, by the way, ever. Like, I've never got one. I was just like, um, you expect me to get one because I don't want a tattoo. And if I do, can your name is kind of a big step. But he was like, no, you don't have to. You know, this is just a token of my love. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, yeah, he's just the sweetest. He is everything. Until we broke up. Now, we broke up because... He asked for my MySpace password. That's how you know it's a long time ago. He asked my MySpace password. I was like, I want to find something, blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, like a poem he had gave me or something. So I gave him the password. He goes through like all these old messages. And he's like, you're a liar. You've been talking to this dude. Blah, blah, blah. You've been talking to this dude. And you ain't been real with me. Blah, blah, blah. But it was like, the messages were old. And I was just like, oh, I love you. I'm sorry. You know, because it wasn't a big deal. I'm like, it wasn't even like that. Da, 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 da. And so he broke up with me. Like, he went to the extreme, y'all. He, like, copy and pasted the messages, put them in his face, uh, his uh, MySpace bio, and was like, tails up a line. <laughs> like, this is how she do me. Like, calling my friends, telling them. But I'm just like, can you just not? So, we had broken up, but he was selling me a dream that we would be able to get back together so we still kind of talked after that and he was coming to visit me in Tennessee well he was coming to visit his mom but he wanted to hang out or whatever so to try to see if we could work on it you know our relationship because you know I thought he was the one and blah 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 so um Greg came down here and we had went to Ivory Mills mall now we went to the mall the night that it flooded so it was raining all day and we went to go see Nightmare on Elm Street but before we went to the movies we went to Dave and Buster's. Now at Dave and Buster's um, we ate like his mom, no his mom didn't come with us, I don't think she did. Well, we went to Dave and Buster's and he was just sitting there talking all this crazy stuff to me like I could just get you pregnant and we could just be together. They're like, I'll take you in the bathroom right now. Pregnant? I'm 16 years old. I haven't even had a chance to live my life and you're trying to trap me. You gonna try to trap me for real? No. It's not how this works. So, um, yeah. He's talking all this crazy stuff and he grabs my hand and I wasn't thinking nothing of it at first and I let him hold my hand and stuff and he's just telling me how much he loves me and he was just so hurt that I did that to him and then he just takes like a steak knife and starts rubbing it in the palm of my hand uh, uh, what you doing um so I'm freaking out so I'm like you're not gonna stab me are you and he's just like well if Stab you if you just let me just real quick. It's not gonna hurt. <laughs> what you mean? It's not gonna hurt. This is my whole hand. Like, I need my hand. What, what do you think this is? So he's like, you know, just let me do it real quick, and I'll forget about everything, and we'll start over, and we could just continue planning our lives together because that's what people do that's in love. Who raised you? Who raised you? Seriously. I have been not your mama. I hope not. She didn't put that in your head. His mama was cool. I was like, nope. Couldn't have been her. It couldn't have been her. 
Like, no, y'all, he, he, was, he was crazy. Well, we all was stupid because I continued to talk to him a little bit after that. Um, we had went to the movie and I got sick and he was tending to my knees and stuff. He asked me, was I pregnant? Because I threw up, but I was like, no, you have to have sex to get pregnant. And I wasn't having sex with nobody else. He was the only person I had ever had sex with at that point. So, no, not pregnant. You ain't been here in six months, so I'm gonna get pregnant. Well, I ain't seen you in six months, so I'm gonna get pregnant. So, yeah. After that, um, we did continue to talk. Like, he was telling me he loved me and stuff. Then he apologized for trying to stab me in the hand because that was dumb. And eventually, we stopped talking because um, one of my best friends came over. And him and her were pretty cool. They had the whole brother-sister relationship thing. He still thought that they would be brother and sister after we broke up. But they, he still communicated with her. And so she was at my house, she had me on speakerphone and had him on speakerphone and she asked him, she was like, you know, do you just, do you have any intentions of ever getting back with her? You know, I know she loves you, da da da. And he was just like, not really. And I'm just like, then why drag me along? Like, I can go find somebody else who wants to be with me. Like, I, I can stop wasting my time with you. Like, it was a summer, like, uh, it was about to be our senior year. So I didn't want to continue wasting my time. So let that go started talking to somebody else and I was good to go on that so yeah that was my crazy story time about when my ex literally tried to convince me to let him stab me where they do that at comment below some of the craziest things that you've ever gone through with an egg thumbs up if you like my story time videos and if you want me to keep them going make sure you like and comment and subscribe thank you so much for being so supportive i'll talk to you guys later I want you to take a ride in my toys